Hello there, and welcome back to another episode of our Lumina Neo Academy, the show where we help you to get the most out of this photo editing application. Now, if you've never been here before, my name is Jacob Bors, and I'm a creator and founder here at Clever Photographer. Now, before we're going to start, I have a few things I want to cover. First of all, at the end of the video, I'm going to give you access to our popular Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet. Finally, I would like to ask you to please like, comment and share on this video. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel so we can keep creating content like this. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a new Luminar Neo extension that will help you to keep everything in focus. The Focus Stacking extension will make every part of your photo crisp by stacking up to 100 photos with different depth of field. Focus Stacking will align, crop and balance them automatically. The AI algorithm chooses the parts with the best focus across all photos and corrects lens and chromatic aberration in RAW files. The result is an image in which every detail pops. It's suitable for macro shots, still life compositions or multi-layered landscape. So as you can see, we are already in Luminar Neo and we are starting in a catalog module. The first thing we should look at is how to install the focus stacking extension. To do that, we need to navigate to the top left corner of our screen and click on a little orange puzzle icon. And from here, we will be able to add the focus stacking extension. Now, at this point, I should remind you that the focus stacking is part of the professional extensions for Luminar Neo and they come for an extra fee. Now, you have two options on how you can get them. You can get the Luminar Neo subscription or purchase the extensions bundle. If you've done that, they will be here and they will be connected through your profile. So once you get them, you just come here into this window and then navigate to the fifth extension, which is our focus stacking. Here you will simply click on the icon, which will say install. And once you click on it, it will only take a few seconds to install it into your application. Once the installation is over, it will say installed, just like you see on my screen. Once we finish here, we can close this window and continue. This is a good time to remind you that this video is powered by our Luminar Neo Power Bundle. For a great price, you can get over 986 new elements to power up your Luminar Neo tools. With this bundle, you can get extra high definition skies, overlays, textures, backgrounds, sky objects, LUTs and presets. All of these will help you to transform your images with just a few clicks. If you want to learn more about it, you can follow the link in the description of this video or you can simply visit our website cleverphotographer.com. Now, before we're going to continue, I should mention a few things. First of all, the focus stacking works with all the different file formats supported by Luminar Neo. So you can use it with JPEGs, TIFF files and RAW files. After that, you should also know that the Focus Stacking extension, just like the HDR Merge, is only available with the full standalone version of Luminar Neo. So you can't use it as a plugin with Lightroom, Photoshop or Apple Photos. And now it's time to look at the actual tool. The Focus Stacking extension is located in a catalog module on the toolbar on the right side of your screen. If you don't see it, there is a little icon here which you can click on and it will hide it or reveal it. The focus stacking is just under the HDR merge and it's looking very similar. Looking at it, you can see the icon, the name, and you can see that it simply tells you that you should drag from two to hundred photos here to start. So let's turn our attention to the sample files. And as always, if you want to use them, you're more than welcome to jump into the description of this video, download the files from there and continue. So we have eight files here, starting from the first one. So if you click on it and make it a little bigger, you can see on this image that what I did, I started by focusing on the leaves. And then all the way through, I use eight different focus points where I slowly, slowly work my way through the scene until I was focusing on the house. So let's have a look at the example here. I'm focusing on the leaves. They are sharp. And then when you look at the house itself, it's 
soft and blurry. Now, when we look at the last image, and again, make it a little bigger, you can see that the house is sharp, however, the leaves are soft. So once again, with the eight images, I work my way through. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna select all the images, and we can do that by selecting the first image, and then hold Shift and click on the last image. This way, we select the eight photos, and you can also see it here, it says eight photos selected. Now it's really simple, just drag and drop them on the actual tool. Once you do that, they will appear in the list with their little thumbnails. When you hover over, you can also see that it has the little white cross and you can use that to remove the images from here. You can also use the little arrows to move between the images. So as you can see, we have eight images here and we are almost ready, but before we're gonna continue, we should also check our settings here. So let's click on the little wheel and that will open additional options. We can select the auto alignment, which I'll always suggest you to use. After that, we have the reference image option. So when you click on a gray drop-down box, you can choose here which of the images you wanna use as a reference image. For us, let's use the middle one, so number four works well. And finally, uh, we have the option to use the chromatic aberration reduction, and I always like to use that, so just click on it and bring it on. The last option in our settings is to remove all the images. However, we're not gonna do that as our images are ready, but you should still know that this option is available if you have many images load into the extension. So once you're happy, just click away. And all we need to do now is just to click on the stack button. And now Luminar Neo will start to go through all the images and look at the parts that are in focus. Then it's gonna stack them together and give us the final result. Depending on the size and the resolution of the image and also on the number of the images, this may take few seconds to few minutes. Once the process is over, you see that the images disappear and we have the final image here in the new folder added into your folders and it's called focus stacking. Now when I select the image and make it a little bit bigger, you can see that now we have a sharpness all the way from the bottom to the top to the building. So it did quite a good job. If you want, you can now take the image and move it into any of your folders. However, for us, I think it's quite good. What you would do now, you would just select it, move it into edit module and continue with the edit as usual. So this was the focus stacking, a really simple tool located in your catalog module right under the HDR merge. All you need to do is to take your images, load them in, set up your settings in the settings tab, and once you're happy, just click on stack. Once again, it will be added into focus stacking folder, and once you're happy with it, you can move it into your folders, and then continue with the edit. And there you have it. If you want a copy of our popular Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet, there is nothing easier than heading to our website, cleverphotographer.com slash luminargift. While you're there, you can also check out one of our popular Luminar Neo products, or you can stay here and watch more videos about Luminar Neo. For today, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please make sure that you like, comment, and share on this video. And also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so we can keep creating content like this. For today, thank you very much for watching. My name is Jacob Bors, and I can't wait to see you in the next video.